let us just begin the online seminar now the billion dollar question is that is it even possible to prepare for GRE in 60 days so what do you guys think is it possible no says uh, Akriti no says Lavanya so Ashwin is asking me back is it possible uh, all right Ashwin will be looking at the answer but I want to know your opinion pretty much says Mukul absolutely possible says Rayshiran not completely says Ranjit Reddy Farindra definitely GRE this session will be helpful for you is it possible I, I also want to know I don't think so says Ashwin G all right guys uh, the answer for the question path but success depends on the student yes that also is a factor maybe possible says Partha Sarathi all right so if you look at the answer to be honest the the answer is yes you can prepare for GRE in the next 60 days if you work right all right but again there are certain conditions to it you have to be very very clear on what you need to do one of the issues that happens is that people do not know how to go about their preparations and then they tend to lost and takes too much time to prepare for GRE ideally a student requires three to four months but if you prepare exactly right or following a per perfect pattern you will be able to come to your GRE in 60 days all right so let us just look into the fact how is it possible to complete your GRE preparation in the 60 days all right so can we look at it guys so what do you think would be the very first step for any GRE preparations any exam preparations Schedule says Tariq, studying says Mukul, plan says Baskar, quant preparations says Laisiran. Knowing what is GRE says Arpit Pandey, yes definitely that is one way. Uh, planning says Arpit Pandey, again. Collect materials says Manoj. Exam pattern says Prashant Pandey. Full form of GRE says Prashant. <laughs> All right Prashant. How many of you guys in the audience know what the full form of GRE is? Graduate record examination. All right. So I have a huge list of points coming up in graduate record examination. Exactly. So GRE is graduate record examination. Now given that fact, uh, as a lot of people said planning, studying, uh, exam pattern knowing all this right so yes that is all fundamentally true but how would you plan on what basis would you make a plan or would you make a schedule you should know how much you actually know about GRE am I right you should know where you are right now in your GRE preparations right correct says Bhaskar G yes says Shubodhan so the very step one of your fundamental GRE preparations is very simple guys Take a diagnostic test today. It's very simple. Uh, what a diagnostic test? How many of you guys know what a diagnostic test is? I took one, says Manoj. Fantastic, Manoj. I know, says Tariq. No idea, says Daishir. So a lot of people know about the diagnostic. A lot of people do not know, right? So how many of you guys know what a diagnostic test is? The current checking the current ability to solve. Where can I take one for free? Says Ashwin. Ashwin. Hmm. I might be able to offer you something but I want you guys to discuss more your current level says Sushobhan exactly guys a diagnostic test will help you understand where you stand in your GRE preparations right now that is a very fundamental step that you take then comes the entire pattern now the next question is where can I take a diagnostic test so guys who took a diagnostic test can you guys tell me where you take one I'm pretty sure a lot of people out there who want to use diagnostics also want to know. How many of you know want to know where, where you can take a free diagnostic test? Just say me in capital letters. From the learning tracker. Yes. Very good. Akriti. So Prashant, Daishil, Srishti, Radha Sabrinath, Bhaskar, Rahil Khan, Chandana, Gandhikota. All right. You guys also want to take a diagnostic test. Is that right? What about Jeshro, Samuel, Ashwin, Arpit, Anil? Uh, Fanindra, Parth, Nitin, Nishit. Do you guys also want to take a diagnostic test? All right. So everyone who is interested in diagnostic test, the first thing I want to tell you guys is WhatsApp us saying I want a diagnostic test to the number I provide you right now. The message should be I want a diagnostic test. I have sent the message to everyone. 
to the number 9884453276. If you WhatsApp to this number by WhatsApp us saying I want a diagnostic test, you will be given a validity of one day in our learning tracker. The learning tracker, you can access the learning tracker in the GREH website by clicking on start learning now. So after the seminar, would each one of you promise that you will WhatsApp this and enter you get a diagnostic test? Yes, says Fanindra. Yes, says Srishti. Yes, says Jastro. I just says yes. So first thing you have to guess to do is WhatsApp us at 9884453276 saying I want a diagnostic test. Uh, Saikat Basu, no, it's completely free. You can take a diagnostic test. The only thing you need to do is you have to message us, WhatsApp us at 9884453276. All right. So once you take the diagnostic test, the next question is what after diagnostic test, right? So the next pattern is to identify what your weaker areas are. Saikat Basu, you have to send this message in the next one hour. It will be valid for one day that is still tomorrow. You will have to take the test by today. Now Ashwin has a question. Will I get the results of this test also for free? Yes, Ashwin, you will be taking, able to analyze your own performance in your diagnostic test. You'll be given feedbacks completely. There'll be automated feedback that talks about which are weaker areas, which are your stronger areas. All right. So now, is that of much value for you guys? Pujan wants to know, can I take a diagnostic test tomorrow? So guys, this will be valid only till tomorrow. So tomorrow might be a deadline to take the diagnostic test. So I would uh, recommend you once you guys WhatsApp us at 9884453276, you'll be getting access to that. Now, can we jump right to the next question? What after diagnostic test? All right, sure, sure, says Arpit Parthasarathy. Next question becomes, once you get diagnosed, you get a feedback feedback and a score right you get a feedback on what, where all your weaker areas are where all your stronger areas are and you'll be able to analyze it yourself now i want to ask a question what is your target score right now what is the target score that you have in mind So 310 plus says Anil Kumar, 320 plus says Ranjit Reddy, 325 and above says Sheetal, 320 plus says Partha Reddy, 325 plus says Baskar. Given the fact that everyone are looking for a very, very ambitious score of at least 320 plus. So the next step, once you know your target score, you have to look at this particular thing. You have to devise a study plan according to your target score. So if your target score, if your diagnostic score is less than 5 to 10 points from your target score, start taking full length adaptive test and revise, only revise concepts. Whatever concepts you know, revise and ensure you strengthen it. But if your diagnostic score is more than 10 points, then a complete proper study plan is needed, guys, because you will not be able to exceed your target score. All right. So are we clear so far? Yes, says Rahil. Sushoban. Sorry, Kalam says yes. They just says yes. Then a study plan is definitely required for you guys because a 10 point gap is a huge gap. You need to fulfill that as early as possible. So what happens is after you take the study plan, if say you land up less than 10 points. For the people who are in 5 into 10 points, all I recommend you to strongly to take only tests and revise the concepts. For the people who land up less than 10 points, I want to talk to everyone. GRE verbal section has four questions, four types of questions, sorry, three types of questions. The three types of questions are sentence equivalence, te text completion, and reading comprehension. All right, these are the three areas. Marks Arpit Pandey. The GRE quant has about four sections. The algebra, data analysis, geometry, and arithmetic. Now, this diagnostic test feedback will completely help you guys analyze which areas you are weak in. All right. So the moment you notice down your weaker areas, you have to improve that area to the very next level by preparing specific study materials on that particular topic. 
ओके गाइस अभी क्लियर नाउ ऑन अ रफ स्केल कैन यू गाइस टेल मी व्हाट इज योर वीकर एरिया व्हाट कुड बी योर वीकर एरिया एज ऑफ नाउ वर्बल सेज आकृति यस साइकत बासु आई वांट टू डायग्नोस्टिक टेस्ट verbal of course all right so everyone says verbal except one guy ali says data interpretation yes data interpretation also a tough topic vocabulary says chandana verbal vernacular all right all right so verbal is one difficult area for a lot of students let us start with verbal what if verbal is a weak area in verbal what is that that is most difficult so certain people told me vocabulary is a problem pujan says rc is a problem Shitala, I'll be talking about the books very soon. Do not worry. Vocabulary says Shivi Kundra. All right. So, being vocabulary is a problem for a lot of students. Let us first look at vocabulary on how can we extend, how can we, how can we help you remember vocabulary as much as possible. All right. So, very first thing I would personally recommend you guys to do is. The next 60 days, you have 60 days, right? Every day you are supposed to learn at least 30 new words. by using audio pronunciation methods root word analysis picture mnemonics and of course everyone knows about the wordbot software right you can use the wordbot software and master at least 30 words per day morning you can spend about half an hour to one hour to learn 30 words and the same words you can test yourself in the night or you can learn words in this today evening or day after tomorrow you can tomorrow you can take a test so by this you have to learn at least master 30 words every day for the next 45 days all right So 45 days means you will master nearly 1,500 words, and using this 1,500 words, the final 15 days you simply sit and revise all the 1,500 words. All right, because it is not humanly possible to learn all the words in a stretch. If you if you're going to prepare only for two months, only 1,500 words can be a maximum limit, and that is what we recommend for each one of you. All right. There's also a YouTube link that says how three proven techniques remember 3,500 GRE words. I'm pretty sure a lot of people have attended my webinars on the, and the same topic. How many of you are interested to have a YouTube link for the same? All right. For the people who are interested in the YouTube link to see the three proven techniques to master GRE words. I have sent the link across to you guys. You can bookmark this link or spread this link to your friends who are also preparing for GRE. All right. So Daishila wants has a very good question. How many words at least need to remember to get a sophisticated score? So Daishila, I believe the sophisticated score at least 320. For a 320, I recommend at least 2,000 2,500 words to be mastered comfortably. I hope that answers your question. Now, guys, have we solved the word word problem? So remembering words was one issue. If this is your weak area in remembering words, you have to do this to nullify that. Now, can we look at the next problem? How many of you guys have issues in text completion? Varun says me. Me says Daishil. Ali says a bit. All right. For the people who have issues in text completion, sentence equivalence, the very first tip I will provide you is focus on understanding the sentence. All right. Never ever read the options first because there will be a lot of trap answers that that makes your mind think. it's very simple and this is the answer all right the very first thing that you guys need to do is only read the question try to comprehend the meaning of the sentence and guess your own answer even though you do not know what answer it is just guess the answer all right just simply guess the answer and then look at the answer choices given and look at the closest synonym only then will you be able to not make any mistakes in text text completion or sentence equivalence all right So a lot of students, my own students, do this flaw. They first look at the options and they tick and they straight away leave. That will be a most of the times a trap answer. Also, a regular practice can help you overcome it. Take something called GRE style test. All right, you can talk to our student counselors here at GRE Edge and talk, ask what a GRE style test is. A GRE style test is nothing but a test that has only one particular topic. For example, it will talk, ask only you text completion questions for a one-hour test. and see where you stand in text completion chapters that is one thing you can definitely take all right so have we talked about text completion enough guys can we jump into the most taunting section of rcs how many of you have difficulties in rc 
All right, so everyone have difficulties in RC. So guys, first thing that we need to look at the RC is there are big, big types of RC. All right, there are a lot of webinars coming in the next week or the next week uh, about different types of RCs, how to crack tough RCs, okay, attend those as well. But before that, let me give a small gist today on what all we can look into. First thing is try to break the entire passage into small units. All right, no matter what, if you read any passage, it will be a compilation of a different ideas. All right. So I want you guys to shorten every sentence into one particular word and write it separately in your rough sheet. So when you would run re read through the entire RC passage, you'll have a set of 10 words that are interconnected by some idea. This should take not more than five minutes and you'll be easily able to answer if you use this technique. So how many of you guys would like to have a guide, a free ebook on how to crack tough RCs? All right, me says Sushoban, me says Varun, Ali says me. All right, so I want to know how many of you guys, where were you able to join this seminar? How did you love to come to hear of this seminar? Facebook says Varun, by email says Manoj, signed up on GRE, it says. All right, so guys, everyone would get an email by today on how to, a free ebook download on how to crack tough RCs. So I would sincerely recommend each one of you guys to check your emails today. All right. So when you check your emails today, you will get a option where to download the ebook today or tomorrow. Do not do not forget. Please bookmark this particular email. All right. Mark it stead because you might miss it later. Whenever you want, you could come back and download the book. All right. So would you guys do that today? Yes, all right. I see a lot of yes. So I'm giving you a lot of tips that you could use for your Jari preparation. So do write it down or don't forget it. So that solves your RC problem. I hope we were able to do that. Now RC sentence requirements and text completion is done in your verbal part and remembering words problem is also solved. Now do anyone have any questions regarding the verbal section? You could post your questions in the chat box if you like to have. They just says no questions. Basker, can you please be more elaborate about the question? If you have any questions, please post your questions in the chat box. Arpit Pandey says, can you refer any book? Uh, Arpit Pandey, I believe uh, I won't. I'm not in the position to refer any ebook as such. We will be able to provide you as much books as possible. And one thing I will definitely tell any of my student is to be very prepared from an online platform because GRE is an online exam. Referring from an offline book may not be very helpful for your GRE preparations. So Manisha says I am missing from starting. Can I get it, get the seminar again? Manisha, I believe you want the seminar again. We would be uploading this seminar on our YouTube channels. You could subscribe to our YouTube channel as well if you would like. You can go our, watch our seminars and GRE Edge YouTube channel. So Srishti says, is it easy to tackle tricky questions? Srishti, there is a statistics that says in GREH, the full and adaptive test, as in the test series that we offer, every test is tougher than the actual GRE exam. In fact, we have a lot of our scorers, our 320 scorers who have come back to our website, given a guest seminar. They've always told us one thing, that the GREH prepares you for a harder test than actual GRE is. So do not worry about that. You can definitely tackle any tricky question if you prepare with uh, GREH test series. All right. So I see more and more questions coming up, but it's kind of unrelated to the topic we have in our hand. So Deepak, Deepak, Akriti, Karan Sharma, I see all your questions, but you can ask a question at the end of the Q&A session because it's not related to the verbal part we are dealing with right now. Is there any other questions, guys? Yes, Varun, please post your question. All right, so uh, there's a lot of questions coming up. I'm not able to pick up any question as of now. So uh, let us just jump away the quant section, next part, which you're not looking for. So how many of you guys are very confident that you're very good in quant? Shushoban says me, Parth says me. 
Shivi says, no, the sad smiley. Do not worry, Shivi. We are here to help you out. Other than DI, says Sushoban. Arpit says, me. Tinku says, me. Need brushing up, says Mukul. Aija says, I'm not. Not bad for sure, says Chandana. All right. So, guys, one, can you tell me, we have almost had about uh, 250 students have come back for a guest seminar. They all scored about 325 plus. That is a criteria. And they've come back and told us one common point that they made a mistake. Can you guys tell me what that one mistake is? Calculation says Nitin that cannot be possible Nitin because you have an online calculator in GRE So Arpit Pandey have been following our seminars and I think he knows what the mistake I'm talking about So Arpit Pandey says overconfident about quant. Yes guys I know you guys are very good with quant because you're engineers You are very good well acquainted in quant because you have been doing mathematics all your life But trust me GRE quant is a little tougher especially for working professionals you tend to lose a little mistake because it's not just about concepts at the end of the day. It's more about time management and being confident on which areas you know very clear. For example, certain chapters you don't you need only you need only two minutes to solve. But certain chapters, no matter what, you do not able to solve it, so you'll have to skip it. Alright. So that is one thing that you guys have to be very, very, very clear. Now, if you look at the PPT right now. In front of most of you may find GRE quant AC, but please don't be overconfident. This is a message from the complete GRE SFA team also. Time management is very, very, very crucial. Daishil just said time management with a lot of uh, the laugh. And then practice a lot of problems, at least 20 dedicated days for GRE quant. In your 60 days, my recommendation would be for you guys is to spend the first 30 days for your verbal. Guys, you could write, write this down somewhere. First 30 days you spend for text completion, sentence equivalence and your RC passage. The next 20 days you spend only for your GRE quant, focused only on quant. And the last 10 days you look only for style test, full length adaptive test. Do not take mock test, only take full length adaptive test. Alright, because only a full length adaptive test will actually tell you where you stand your GRE preparations. A mock test would not actually test your GRE. Alright. So think beyond formulas and shortcuts. GRE quant is not about how well you're acquainted with formulas, how well you're able to understand a concept. It's about how sharp you are, how are you able to manage time, how are you able to think of shortcuts. That is all GRE quant is about. So Daishil wants to know how, where can I take a full length test. Daishil, we do offer a GRE fast track test series to GREH. There are four, four full length adaptive tests in it. In fact, we have a statistics that we boast always that Whatever score you get in our test series, the actual GRE score will be plus or minus 3 from that particular score. So even before you take your actual GRE which is 12,000 rupees, you will know where, how much score you will approximately get by taking a very very attractive test series. Alright, so I believe you could look at those in our website details. Now let me give us strategies to tackle GRE quant. How can you go about GRE quant? First thing is, check, again, See where your weaker areas are taking the diagnostic test. Give at least 10 days to master your weaker areas. Do problems that are long and difficult. When you practice, you have to do longer problems that are very difficult. Only then when you go for your actual GRE, you will be more than prepared to get a very, very good score. All right. And there are a few questions that you will have to skip except for the people who are looking for 340. Everyone else. There would be some question that you will not be able to answer and you need to know when to quit. You'll have to skip a two or three questions. Only then you'll actually be able to concentrate well on every other question. All right. So now to have a very small summary. First thing is 45 days of learning words parallelly every day one hour to two hours you spend for word learning and at least the first 30 days you spend for your RC, TC and SE. You'll have to master your verbal for the first 30 days and then the next 20 days you spend only for quant. When you take the diagnostic test, the first 10 days you focus on your weaker areas. For example, what are your weaker areas in quant guys? What is that your weak at? Permutation, combination, probability or uh, DI. So Sushoban says DI is his weakest area. Geometry or permutation says Nitin, probability says Shivi. Varun says DI, Shivi says DI. Alright, so everyone you have weaker areas, guys. One 
small suggestion i'll have each one of you is to subscribe to our email ids we will be sending a lot of ebooks in the next one month for a lot of these chapters so i want you guys to subscribe to our email ids all you have to do is go and ensure you drag the grh mail and drop it in your inbox so that you don't miss out on any of these emails all right so probability says just show samuel all right so given the fact that you guys know what are your weaker areas your diagnostic test will help you reassure that only those are your weaker areas or not after that the first 10 days you spend intensely on probability or di like a lot of people said or permutations you spend intensely on that and the next 10 days you go about the remaining of the quant the last 10 days are very 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 crucial guys you cannot you cannot freak out you cannot get tense you have to relax as much as possible practice as many as full length tests as possible this is my kind suggestion at least four full length tests before you go for your GRE is a must all right because FLT will help you understand your weaker areas work on them intensely and more importantly manage time the FLT is something like a GRE stimulated environment you can just sit in a platform and take a GRE exam all right so that is one thing and regenerate your mind before the test so one very common suggestion I have each one of you guys so what time do you wake up usually being college students can you guys tell me what time do you wake up 11 p.m. says Deepak 2 p.m. says Akriti 12 30 p.m. Wow all right Wow I feel very few for very few 9 p.m. everyone else saying late late guys if you are giving a GRE, I would personally recommend you that the final 15 days you'll have to wake up at 8 or 9. Maximum 9, 8 is very good sign. If you wake up at 8 a.m. and prepare yourself, you should be very, very clear in your mind. You'll have to have a proper sleep, sleeping schedule before your 15 days. Before all this, the first step is to book a GRE date. If you don't book a GRE date, you will not have any kind of motivation. You will keep procrastinating and you will not prepare. Very much. Thank you so much guys. You have been a fantastic audience. It was great interacting with you. Each one of you have been very, very, very interactive. Uh, Shivi, Shushoban, Jastro, Ali, Srishti, Arpit Pandey. Thank you so much for joining us. Until I see you in the upcoming seminars, this is Vishnu signing off. A very good evening and take care guys.